Hi, in this video, we are going to look at Carnitine shuttle system. As the name suggests, this is a shuttle system. That means it is used to transport some molecules and we would learn about that. We would learn about that where this system is located, what is the function of this system and why it is at all important in a physiological context. In order to understand that, we have to understand fasted and fed state. Our body goes through fed and fasted state and accordingly our metabolism changes. Because in the fed state, fatty acid anabolism is preferred, whereas in the fasted state, fatty acid catabolism need to be triggered to generate further energy. Now in the fasted state, the reserve of the fatty acid is the adipose tissue. In adipose tissue, triglyceride would be broken down to release free fatty acids and the free fatty acid would be transported into the hepatocytes. Inside the liver hepatocytes, the mitochondria of the liver hepatocytes would carry out beta oxidation of fatty acid and thereby generating acetyl-CoA. For that, that acetyl-CoA can be channeled into ketone body biogenesis or can be used to generate energy. So now let's look at what is the problem in case of beta oxidation. Beta oxidation takes place in the mitochondria but in order to start beta oxidation process the raw material that means the fatty acid need to enter the mitochondria. But the problem is the long chain fatty acids such as palmitic acid cannot cross the mitochondrial membrane as the membranes are impermeable to long chain fatty acids. In this situation, a shuttle system is required and that is all about the carnitine shuttle system. Carnitine shuttle system is comprised of two major components. Carnitine permitol transfer is one, CPT1 or um, and the carnitine permitol transfer is two, CPT2. And the third component is very important which is a translocase complex and its function we would learn in a moment. So first this is carnitine and carnitine is a carrier molecule you can think about it. So first of all the palmitic acid would be combined with carnitine to form palmitoyl carnitine and this reaction would be carried out by the help of carnitine palmitoyl transfer as one or CPT1 enzyme. After that palmitoyl carnitine would be transported into the mitochondrial matrix via the translocase channel located in the inner membrane. Once it is in the matrix, the CPT2 enzyme would convert the palmitoyl carnitine into free carnitine and palmitoyl-CoA. The palmitoyl-CoA now could be used to generate acetyl-CoA and the carnitine would be shuttled back into the cytoplasm where it can perform a next round of transport. That is how the carnitine shuttle system is very important in context of fatty acid breakdown and it is a prerequisite of fatty acid breakdown. Now, in case of fed state, the body would try not to degrade fatty acid. In this situation, there is no need of breaking down fatty acid because already there is plenty of energy coming from glucose. So, in this situation, body has to stop or stop the probability that fatty acid oxidation would take place. Now, at the same situation, body has to make fatty acids and store it into the adipose tissue. So, in the liver hepatocytes, fatty acid biosynthesis is favored. And the key molecule that is important for fatty acid biosynthesis is malonyl-CoA. Malonyl-CoA turned out to be an inhibitor of CPT1. Now, CPT1 is actually inhibited by malonyl-CoA when malonyl-CoA is converted to acetyl-CoA and that particular pathway is triggered by acetyl-CoA transfer, acetyl-CoA carboxylase enzyme. This carboxylase enzyme carboxylate acetyl-CoA to form malonyl-CoA. Now insulin triggers the activity of acetyl-CoA carboxylase and insulin is only present in the fed state not in the fasted state. Thereby we can understand the role of insulin in the regulation of fed state versus fasted state because in the fed state insulin would activate the acetyl-CoA carboxylase enzyme as a result acetyl-CoA would be converted into malonyl-CoA. Malonyl-CoA would one side prevent the activity of carnitine palmitoyl transfer as 1 or CPT1 and on the other hand side malonyl-CoA would be channeled into fatty acid biosynthesis pathway. 
this is the importance of the carnitine shuttle system in context of fatty acid anabolism and catabolism. And we also understood that how insulin and many other hormones can regulate this shuttle system depending upon the demand in order to meet the physiological context. So I hope this video was useful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Do let me know in the comment how you like my video. Thank you.